Hi Q, season two, episode eleven. Above. He's just stuck in emo mode. Nice Can't even move. Oh, guys, he's getting in the way. Oh, they're still scoring points left somehow. I guess they've just they've adapted to this. They're used to it. Carson for the win. It was a scoop or whatever. <laughs> Dump, yeah, damn it. They're all good. They're all a good team. Damn, I thought this was going to be easy streak from here on out. They're not going down without a fight. Damn, what the hell? It's a point game. Why does everyone have more cheerleaders than us? Right. There we go, there we go, there we go. Got this. Oh, what about the jump serve? Oh, he abandoned it! No! That doesn't feel good. Flub it. Flub it. Oh, no, no. He just went right up there. Oh! No! What the heck? Oh. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Bitter taste in my mouth. They really pulled up that extra weight. Picked up the slack. <laughs> Part of their strategy turns out to be emotional management for him. <laughs> they did all the work at the end. They're very generous, very giving. Yeah, so did I. I was pretty much assured of victory. I guess I also was naive. And they're so close they can communicate without speaking. Well, yeah, we kind of tested that boundary, pushed those limits. Yeah, that was kind of unsatisfying. That was the most unsatisfying part, but don't mind. Yeah, there's a key lesson here. Right, right. Yeah, like I said last episode, the victory for morale has already been accomplished. They did what they came here to accomplish. Oh, but to but to end on a loss is interesting. Very interesting. Very good drama. That would have been a whole extra level of emotional boost. About Asai's decision to do a normal serve. It's easy to judge him for that, and it's you know very understandable why he made that decision. And he was thinking it was for the best interest of the team. But if you're gonna lose, you wanna lose at your best, you know? That way at least you can say you gave it your all. Especially given the fact that the outcome is unknown anyway. You know, I mean he did that to avoid a loss, but the outcome was loss. So I understand his feeling of embarrassment. He didn't rise to his own level of expectation. <laughs> We closed a lot of ground though. Closed a huge gap. Uh, such a perfect metaphor analogy for this team. I get it. Better than hill sprints. This is never turn it off. This is never enough. You know what'd be great is if Suki also does it. That's so dramatic. Reaching for the sun. And he's the sun, right? Wow, it's starting already. Mistakes are real. Damn, they just got riled up. Wow, this looks like fun. Wow, this looks good. <laughs> That's my kind of competition. If we're just waiting for him to finish talking so they can eat, finally, the barbecue. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me right now. Oh, <laughs> 
And she just does not care at all. It's actually really sweet that they're all paying that much attention to him. Is she eating? Oh no, she can't get in there. And how to help her out. Nobody was caring for her? That kind of makes you a little bit upset. Nobody was paying attention. Everyone's so focused on Kyoko-san, what the hell? After all she suffered for this team, especially after that fight with Hinata and Kagama, we leave it up to another team to get her some food. This explains a lot. This explains... This answers my question from earlier in the episode. We have a lot of growing to do still as a team. What did she eat? That's okay, I like the charred ones. Oh no, they're moving in. Carson, wake up! <laughs> this is making me defensive. Man, they're really <laughs> just talking trash. All those beautiful girls just over there and no one... Okay. Too busy with volleyball talk. Volleyball is life. It's the only thing that matters. I can't wait to see more of the Ushikawa relationship, honestly. It was teased early this season, but that was it so far. He's such a good man. I love Coach. They're talking about the OVA. Yeah, especially at this rate. Oh yeah, that too. It's a good, good, wise head on the shoulders. He just cares about them. I mean, they're all great, and all of them, I think, to some extent, have the right orientation, but in a sense, I feel like he's the most pure, or most concrete representation of that thing. That it's for the kids, it's for them, who they are as people. Their ability to reach their potential and not leave anything behind. Get out of their own way, conquer their own fears, rise to their own expectations. It's to the point where it doesn't even seem like rooting for his own team is, is primary. It's like he just wants to see greatness. And I think part of why I like him is because that's also what I, what I like to see. But also I want them to win a championship. <laughs> it's, it's all those things. It's very telling for Hinata. Aww. Yeah, everyone got so close too. You can feel all the cross relationships, cross links. They're all in this together in some way. We got this. Same! Honestly, it's gonna be great. Yeah, the stakes are higher for me than for them. Oh, man, I can't believe the tournament's starting. Right to the Libero. Because that's where he's focusing. I think there's something to that. I don't know if it's real or not, but I've heard that if you focus on avoiding something or not doing something, because that thing is still a point of focus, your brain in some sense is still pointing you towards it. Maybe more useful in his case would be thinking where he wants to hit it rather than where he doesn't want to hit it. I mean, I found that partly true just in my behavior. If I tell myself I'm not going to do something, it's less effective than focusing on what I want to do in absence of that thing. Am I right to believe that Yamaguchi will play a key role in the tournament? Is this his brother? Wow, the awkwardness has lingered this long. That's tough. Time to hash this out. We lost 61 out of 64 games. Wow, bold of him. This is very big of him to say all this out in the open. Spike 
That echoes what Bokuto was saying. Yeah, exactly. So, so Has Suki had that moment yet? I feel like it's coming. I mean, he must have had a taste of it. He's enjoying himself now. Of course. I feel like the show is going to end with Hinata saying one more time. No matter how much he does, he's always going to want more. I just felt something. Felt the power. That's that detect dude. He's even bigger now. That's terrifying. Wow, a lot of familiar faces. It's pretty crazy how big the cast of the show is. It's insane. Well, tell me we're not playing Oikawa in the prelims. Oh, is, he, is he using Hinata's words as inspiration? Oh, he's saying the same thing. They're the same. They're from the same breed. Terrifying. That's amazing and terrifying. They may have already gone over it. I'm a little bit unclear about who we're playing. It's not gonna be Ushikawa, is it? Well, that'd be interesting at least. I mean, anyway, it's like I was saying. I do care a lot about them winning. I'm not gonna lie, it's important to me. But it's not just the win, it's them being great. And so they have to play at their best and they have to beat people at their best for it to be as satisfying as it could be. Sooner or later, they're gonna have to play the best of the best for it to mean what they want it to mean. There's no shying away from it. So if it's in the prelims, it's in the prelims. If it's in the finals, it's in the finals. It's a game with no compromising. It just is the way it is. And it's gonna be sorted out probably the correct way, one way or the other, no matter the order. But man, am I rooting for them. I really hope they can pull it out and get what they need out of this. Not just for the team, but especially for the seniors. Mm -hmm.